very interesting journey. We've been working on different projects on financial inclusion topics. And for me personally, it's been a journey full of new perspectives and insights. It's my first time in Rwanda, and as you can see, the nature here is just magnificent. People also are very friendly and open, and I'm very happy to be here on the project. We are currently working on a study assessing the women SME landscape in Rwanda. So what we've been doing so far is that we travel to different regions across Rwanda and talk to women entrepreneurs to understand their perspectives, their experience, what are their key challenges and gaps that can be addressed by financial institutions to support them better. What I figured, women in Rwanda have a big emphasis on their culture and family. So what we've been hearing is that I really want to learn. I want to have trainings. I want to expand my business. I want to grow. And then because is that I want to support my family. I want to provide a good education for my kids. I want my kids to have a better future. And there is still quite a few noticeable barriers for women to access a capital. So for example, to expand their business and have a loan, they need to have a collateral. And for that, they need to have their husband approvals. Unfortunately, some men still do not agree to that and this means that women cannot take a loan and expand their business accordingly. By the end of this study, what I hope will happen is that based on the insight, gaps and opportunities identified, the financial institutions will develop a specific tailored product for women so that they can access capital with less barriers and much more easily.